Hey everybody, 1985 dude here uh, with a special Christmas themed uh, video. Since today is Christmas, I don't know if I'll have this uh, video up on Christmas. So if I say today it's Christmas and it's like Monday or Tuesday or something, then just ignore that part. But I'm going to show you guys what I got for uh, Christmas. I got a bunch of movies. Uh, some TV shows and uh, a book and some uh, pants but uh, yeah and also got some movies to show you that I've gotten over the last couple weeks or so since I had my last like DVD collection overview video so I'll, if I can I'll show that in this video along with the Christmas stuff if not I'll have a separate video for that coming up soon so let's get started First off, I've got the unrated director's cut of Laid to Rest. It is written, I mean, it's directed by Robert Hall. I think he wrote it to them. Check. Yeah, it's written and directed by Robert Hall, who uh, I believe did a pretty good job with this movie. It wasn't my favorite um, horror movie that I've ever seen. But it was pretty cool, and it had some uh, like some of the most gruesome, brutal uh, kills I've ever seen in a horror movie. And that's pretty good, considering it's just a, like a pretty much a low budget horror movie. It was pretty good. There's a late to rest two coming out, I think, sometime next year. I don't know if it's probably gonna be another direct to DVD and release. So I look forward to seeing that one too. I'll probably pick that up on Blu-ray if they release it on Blu-ray. I was gonna. Uh, try to get this on blu-ray but it was only out on DVD okay next up we have Old Dogs, well that's uh, Disney's Old Dogs on blu-ray it stars uh, John Travolta and Robin Williams it is direct directed by Walt Becker um, it also stars Ella Blue Travolta, which is uh, Ellen Travolta's... No, not Ellen Travolta. Um, it is uh, John Travolta's daughter. And uh, it also stars Kelly Preston, his wife, uh, Seth Green, Lori Laughlin, who played uh, Aunt Becky on Full House, and Matt Dillon. I don't know what complete completely what this is about, but I... Like, your last year or so I'd seen like little trailers and I was wanting all, pretty much wanting to go see it in the theaters but I never got around to doing that and so I uh, finally picked this up well got it for Christmas and so I'm interested in seeing what it's all about and I'll hopefully be able to watch it pretty soon and maybe I'll do a video on it I don't know okay next up we've got Stanley Kubrick's The Shining on Blu-ray it's one of my favorite uh, movies when I was growing up. Of course, it came out before I was born, but I just always liked the story and like the fact that like they're in, they're in like a secluded place in the winter, and it's just kind of freaky. It's not as quite as freaky as it was when I was a kid, but it still has its moments. I haven't I've seen it in a long time, so I'm interested in seeing what it looks like on Blu-ray. I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say it looks really good on Blu-ray, so I have to check it out for myself here pretty soon. some of the stuff out here so I have to keep reaching into this box. Next up we have the original Christmas classics on Blu-ray. It's a set of four films. It includes oh excuse me it's a set of three films. Sorry. It includes Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, oh, sorry I can't talk, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Oh it also it's got Frosty Returns. So it is four movies, so I was right the first time. I always watch these movies pretty much every year they're on. I haven't, didn't actually didn't see them on this year. Now, I'm sure they were on, but I, mean, I haven't really watched a lot of TV lately. Just been playing video games and watching movies. Next up, we have Zoe 101, the complete fourth season. This is from uh, Amazon's little Create Space um, thing, and Nickelodeon 
does a lot of their shows on DVD now where if you order it they then they'll make it and then ship it out to you I always liked the show um, that this was only I think the fourth season final season I don't remember exactly it's been a while since I watched the show yeah Glory 101 the complete fourth season you can pick it up on Amazon next up we have the unrated edition of the strangers on blu-ray uh, it's, it came out in, uh, let's see, let's see if it tells on here, I think like 2008, yeah, two, it came out, in, came out in 2008, it is, uh, let's see who, who wrote it and who directed it, Oh, it's written and directed by a guy named uh, Brian Bertino. Never heard of him, but I did see this on the internet. Because uh, Amazon, uh, certain Blu-rays and stuff that you ordered, they'll let you be able to watch it for like a 20, as much as you want for like 24 hours. For You get as many viewings as you can fit into 24 hours for certain movies on the Amazon website. And So about a month or so ago, I watched this. It was alright. I don't remember a whole lot about it. It's been like a month or so since I watched it, but it was okay. Not my favorite though, but it was alright. Next up is another Blu-ray, and that is The Mask, starring Jim Carrey. It was one of my favorite movies when I was younger, and it's been a while since I've seen it, but Jim Carrey movies are pretty funny, so I have to see what it looks like on Blu-ray. The Mask. And next up is a DVD my uh, dad picked up for me a, about a week or two ago, I think. Because he, he, my mom and him went to a, a, a grocery store and they had like a section of where they had like cheap DVDs for like five bucks or two bucks or something. And this is the Bad News Bears in Breaking Training. I don't believe I've seen this one, but I've seen most some of the Bad News Bear movie, uh, Bad News Bears movies, including that remake from two thousand something with Billy Bob Thornton. But uh, I may have seen this one. I'm not sure. It's been a long time, so I'll I'll have to check it out. Okay, next up. Still got a lot more to show. Pull more out. Piles here. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Sorry, kitties. Oh, yes. That too. Okay. Get the rest of the stuff I got. Okay. Let's get back to that. Next up. We have Spider-Man, the High Definition Trilogy on Blu-ray. It's, of course, stars Tobey Maguire's uh, Spider-Man, and, and they were all directed by uh, Sam Raimi, who did the Evil Dead movies in the 80s and 90s, I think. Some of them were. And they are pretty good. Spider-Man was, the first Spider-Man on this trilogy was pretty good. The second one was decent, and the third one was just kind of okay, but it's still enjoyable to watch. And they were going to do a fourth one. Uh, Sam Raimi was going to do a fourth one with Tobey Maguire and the rest of the cast. But then, like, the studio... I don't know exactly what went wrong. They argued about something. or And so Sam Raimi just kind of walked out. And and Tobey Maguire, of course, didn't want to do one without Sam Raimi as the director. So they decided to actually going to do, like, a reboot or remake or, of this uh, Spider-Man... I think next year is when the movies in theaters are 2012. I'm not sure. But I probably won't go see it because this one's. This trilogy is pretty cool. Spider Man, the high definition trilogy on Blu ray. Okay, next up we have. Disney's A Christmas Carol. It's a Robert Zemeckis film. Of course, most of you people know Robert Zemeckis did the Back to the Future movies. And this, of course, stars Jim Carrey. He does, 
He plays Scrooge and a few little other little minor minor characters. I uh, this movie holds a little bit of sentimental value to me, and I know some of you are probably wondering why, but I'll tell you because most of you know that uh, that watch my videos sometimes. I know that Ron's time this came out back last November. By in 2009, my grandma died around that time, and so just like a week after. Or a few days after she died, I had taken my uh, my mom and dad and my one brother to see this in the theaters. Should help hopefully try to cheer my dad up because he w he wasn't like majorly depressed or if he was he didn't show it. But and we just a few days or so after she died, I went to saw this in the theaters with them and it's pretty cool. This is the uh, four disc edition. It's got the Blu-ray edition, it's got the Blu-ray 3D, which doesn't make any difference to me because I don't have a Blu-ray 3D, uh, 3D player or 3D ready TV anyways. It's also got the regular DVD and digital copy. It's kind of enjoyable and hopefully someday I can get the uh, a 3D TV and a 3D Blu-ray player so I can uh, you know, watch it in the 3D version. And I'm not sure, I think I heard somewhere about the PlayStation 3s have like some patch or something you can hook onto it or something about so you can make it play 3D movies. I'm not sure, but yeah, Christmas Carol, Disney's a Christmas Carol starring Jim Carrey. It's pretty cool. Check it out. And we also have Zoe 101, the complete third season, volume 2. I'll, I also have volume 1. Of uh, the third season, I'll show you in a second. It's a five disc set. This is a uh, discs four and five. Pretty cool. Check if you enjoyed Zoe 101 or uh, some most teen Nickel uh, sorry most Nickelodeon teen type shows. You'll enjoy this. Okay. Also next up we have. Uh, Midnight Movie on Blu-ray. I don't know exactly what this is about. I heard some people talking about it on YouTube a long time ago, and they said it was pretty cool. And I've had a lot of luck lately with um, hearing people talk about a certain horror movie that I've never heard of or seen before, and I, they talk about it on YouTube, and I'll go just you uh, buy it just for the heck of it to see what the, all the hype's about. And most of the time, it's been pretty... Uh, good results and me liking it as well so I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that is the same thing with this because I'm a good I like horror movies just as much as the next person and I'm interested in seeing what this is all about so I'll have to check it out sometime midnight movie on blu-ray next up I guess mentioned just a second ago we have the complete third season of Zoe 101 volume 1 this is discs one through three. Oh, next up, we have a Jingle All the Way Family Fun Edition on Blu-ray. Of course, it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, where he plays a dad that kind of disappoints his uh, his son a lot, and his uh, wife is kind of dating other people, like a ex-wife or no, she, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still his wife. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched it, so. Ignore what I said about it. Um, this movie also stars uh, the big show, uh, Paul White, the big show, as some of you know him, in like a little small cameo role towards like the beginning of the movie, or in the middle of the movie, I'm not quite sure. He plays like a the big giant Santa. And uh, it's a fun little family movie. Good to watch sometimes. Jingle All the Way, Family Fun Edition on Blu ray. Uh, okay, next up, we have Godzilla on Blu-ray. This is, of course, the uh, version from 2000, no, version from 1998, starring uh, Matthew Broderick as a scientist type of guy that studies, like, worms or something, and they call on him to kind of go after this uh, Godzilla thing, and 
see what to study that and see what it's all about and it's it's a pretty decent movie a lot of people give it a lot of flack and I'm not sure why but I, th I enjoyed it because I saw it in the theaters back when it came out with my dad it was pretty good check it out Godzilla okay next up now some of you know that I am a uh, Lucy fan. Uh, Robbie uh, Robbie Webster recently posted a video on his channel where him and his uh, wife were on their little vacation honeymoon thing, and they went to like the Lucille Ball um, Museum or something that was around uh, Universal Studios in Florida or something. I don't remember exactly where it was, but he got some footage of the museum. Because he knew I was a fan of hers, and he, some of his other subscribers and friends were are fans of her as well. And so he got that for all of us to look at and enjoy, since some of us probably will never get the chance to uh, go out there and see all those Lucy museums. And this is uh, a deluxe edition of the Lucille Ball specials. It's Lucy Calls the President. It is from. I believe 1970 it's 1970 something it doesn't for some reason it doesn't say exactly on the on the back of this DVD I'm sure it maybe it was 1970 um, 1970 something because Vivian Vance who played a Ethel, of course, on I Love Lucy, and then she played a character named Viv and uh, the Lucy show, and then here's Lucy as well. And this is just made a few years before she died. And uh, I've never seen it, don't know what it's about, and I, but I'm a Lucy fan, and I'm sure it's funny, just like all the rest of her stuff that she does. Lucy calls the president. Okay, next up, we have the game plan on Blu-ray from Disney, Walt Disney Studios, or Walt Disney Pictures. It stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He plays a uh, football player who's kind of full of himself and like hogs, he's like a ball hog, and he's all full of himself. And this uh, little girl played by uh, Madison Pettis, who does different Disney movies and TV shows uh, it's his we find out that it's his daughter and she kinda shows up at his doorstep unannounced and her uh, person that she calls her mom at the, at the beginning of the movie and it, it's really her aunt uh, thinks she's at like some ballet school but she decides to go to a uh, the rocks apartment and to visit him because it's her dad and it's kind of a good little family f movie it's got a lot of it's got some comedy in it and some drama it's pretty cool check it out the game plan on blu-ray sorry if the lighting's kind of messed up this camera it's, I don't have a light in my room this camera's got a little auto light thing and sometimes it's a little weird okay let's see less got a few more things to show you. First up is uh, a CD. I don't get that many CDs anymore. It's only when I'm really interested in the singer or group that I get the CD. And this is a CD called uh, Say It by uh, Brit Nicole. She's a Christian singer. And I got her another one of her CDs. I think I've shown before in one of my videos. She's a pretty good singer. If you like Christian music and you like... Um, Good, a good voice and good talent. She's a singer to check out. Brit Nicole, say it. Okay, next we got the pants I was telling you about. My mom, pretty much every year, likes to get me a pair of Chiefs pants. I don't, I don't know how well you can see. It's like a little pair of kind of pajama, almost like pants that I just like to wear around the house. I like to wear these after I get home from work to, to get out of my sweaty work clothes. And 
nice and comfy too. And last but not least, I have a, another uh, figure. It's a Hulk Hogan figure. It's from the WWE Classic Superstar Series, which I got a whole bunch of them, uh, the Hulk Hogan versions. And this is him in his little uh, red and black NWO shirt, because for a while in WCW he was in the uh, Wolf Pack towards the end of the whole NWO thing there. And, uh, yeah, Hulk Hogan figures are kind of hard to come by in the stores. And so, um, like, most of the Hogan figures I have, I've had to order online. Because that's pretty much the only place you can get them if, unless you, I don't know, unless some stores around here have them once in a while. But, and when they do it, they're really expensive. And I find the uh, cheap deals on them on, like, Amazon. And they're pretty cool. Good quality. Looks a lot like Hogan. I've got most of them I've shown I've shown you guys before. And I think I'll end this. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about the hair. It's, I always have kind of messed up hair and I need a haircut pretty bad, but... Anyways, here's the next part of my uh, video I promised. I was going to show some DVDs and Blu-rays I've gotten in the last few weeks before Christmas and in between the last uh, collection overview I did. First up, we got a Laurel and Hardy DVD. It's got 14 of their movies on it, of their short movies. Of course, they're all in black and white. And... Uh, I enjoy Laurel and Hardy. It's been years since I've seen uh, any of their movies, so I'm interested in watching them again because I enjoyed them when I was a little kid. Check them out. Also, next up is a Blu-ray, The Simpsons movie on Blu-ray. I saw this in the theaters and back in 2007 when it came out. I also have the DVD version around here somewhere. Next we got Cloverfield on Blu-ray. I also have the the DVD version. My brother, one brother's got it in his room. I'll have to get it back sometime. But it looks really good on Blu-ray. It's one of the better movies I've seen in quite a while. Also, I've got... And I don't know if I've shown these in a recent video or not. I'll show them again. We got Click on Blu-ray. Uh, it's an Adam Sandler movie. The Water Boy on Blu-ray, another Adam Sandler movie. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, another Adam Sandler movie. Fifty First Dates on Blu-ray, another Adam Sandler movie. And the reason why I've gotten a lot of different DVDs and Blu-rays lately is because they're been really cheap on Amazon lately. So I gotta snatch them up while they're that cheap. And another thing on Blu-ray I recently got is. March of the Wooden Soldiers with Laurel and Hardy on Blu-ray. It's like one of the like the first version of Babes in Toyland that there was, and it's uh, it's restored in color and it's also got the restored black and white version as well. It's also got a bonus Rudolph movie. That doesn't make any sense with that. And I saw this once on TV a long time ago, so I'm interested in seeing what these old this old, old movie from like the 30s looks like on Blu-ray. Also, we've got District 9 on Blu-ray. I just watched that this movie this morning. It was pretty cool. It started off kind of boring because there's mostly just like a documentary type thing to start off with. And as the movie went on, it, they stopped doing that documentary style thing for a while. And it got really interesting. It was really cool. To, like Some of the, like, the uh, kills in this movie are really awesome you'll if you've seen this you know what I mean we like the guns and stuff it looks really cool I suggest you check it out it's a good movie also ah, here it is. I don't know if I've seen this I don't know if I've shown this one in a recent video but I'll show it again it's Adam Green's Frozen Adam Green of course directed the uh, hatchet and hatchet 2 and 
on recommendation of a, uh, some friends of mine here on YouTube, uh, Jamie Myers and Zero Voorhees from uh, Psychopath TV. They do horror from the grave every week. So just you guys check them out. I'll try to remember to leave their channel link below. I've talked about them before. And they said this was a pretty cool movie, so I checked it out. Uh, not knowing too much about it. And it was pretty cool. Even though it was basically set in the same spot the whole movie, pretty much. It's really good. Check it out. Frozen. And I believe that is it. As far as I know, if I have gotten anything else recently, I don't remember. But uh, thanks guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye.